In your introduction to tagging video, you learned what a tag is, and in this video, you will learn how to tag a question. Since Insight 360 does not limit the format of your educational content, in this example, you will see how to tag a question in several different formats. While this demonstration you are about to see is on Windows 7, the process and interface is exactly the same on the Mac operating system. Start. Insight 360 and start tagging. Then open your content. In this example, we'll start with Microsoft PowerPoint. Select your question type from the pick list of all available question types. Select a correct answer. Optionally, you can add a short description about the question. This is recommended because it makes it easier to identify that question while teaching. Finally, you may associate an educational standard with a question. To do this, you first must select a range of standards. In this example, I am selecting an Earth and Space Science standard from the available list. As you make your choices, the tag is created in the box below. When finished, the tag can be dragged from the preview window onto any document, program, or other source that can display an image. It is usually best to place the tags in a discrete location so they do not visually distract from the lesson material. Note that the tag is surrounded by a dashed line box. This indicates that the system has successfully found the tag. This acts as a confirmation that the tag was successfully placed. Also notice that the tag creator shows a warning. It is a warning that a tag already exists on this page and that only one tag per page is allowed. The tag can also be copied onto the computer system's clipboard by pressing the copy tag button and then pasted directly into one or more sources. Now that we have successfully placed the Insight 360 tag in our PowerPoint content, we will save the file so we can share this lesson with other instructors or reuse it in the future. I will repeat this process of dragging the tag into the content and saving the file with Microsoft Word and Workspace. Obviously the real advantage here with adding a tag is that you can save your lesson in its native file format. The file isn't changed in any noticeable way, but now it is student response pad enabled and can easily be shared among other Insight 360 users. Now Smart Notebook. and Promethean's Active Inspire. And that's how easy it is to add an Insight 360 tag to your existing instructional content. Thank you.